I'm Lucy from Sangley Farms, and uh, we're packing out your roasting box today. So just want to let you know again, we're Sangley Farms on the North Fork of Long Island, certified organic, and um, everything that we produce in this kitchen, our certified organic kitchen, is made with the freshest ingredients. So um, just wanted to let you know what we're packing today. We have um, multicolored potatoes. So we got some purple potatoes, some white ones. They're gonna mix in, and uh, the white ones are a little purple now, but <laughs> they're still really good. Um, we got multicolored carrots, some yellow and orange, um, rutabaga, which is like a turnip, um, very sweet. And then we have our red and green cabbage. Um, the onions as well, um, garlic, and a little bit of thyme. We also have a cilantro pesto, which we make in the kitchen here. Um, it has a little cheese in it, olive oil, pine nuts, um, and that'll be a great topping for your roasted vegetables. So the way that you want to do it is um, there's enough vegetables here for probably two trays of roasting. So you want to take all of the vegetables out and put them in their own little bowl. And you want to add a little bit of olive oil, enough to coat them, and a little pinch of salt. And then you're going to first put the potatoes on the tray, heat your oven to 375, and um, roast the potatoes for 10 minutes. You're going to take it out, stir it with a wooden spoon, and then add your rutabaga and your carrots to that. Roast for another 10 minutes, and then you add your cabbage, roast that for another 10, and then your onions. So if you're doing two trays, you can add half to each. Or you can just do one tray and then save the rest of the veggies for another day to roast. Um, so at the end, the last 10 minutes with the onions, you're also going to add some chopped up garlic, if you like, um, with some thyme sprigs. So you're just going to pull them off of the sprigs and add that in and mix it for 10 more minutes at the end. And then you're going to add um, some pesto to it. So you want to mix that into the tray and then let it sit in the oven to kind of melt in. Um, and with the rest roasting veggies, you're going to have quite a bit if you do it all at once. So you can um, save them for later for another side during the week. You could add them to eggs. You could put them in your soup. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things you can do. It's just a nice way to have your vegetables cooked already for you for the week. Um, so yeah, and then you're going to have a little bit of extra pesto, I'm sure. So that just, the cilantro adds a nice fresh flavor to anything. You can even use it if you're cooking anything um, in a saute pan. You can just throw a little in. It's basically like your oil and garlic and a little herb. So you can do that, add it to a chicken um, or other vegetables. Whatever you do, enjoy.